Yo guys, what's going on? SJ here again, bringing you all another Team Fortress 2 related video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be covering the things that TF2 has that Overwatch doesn't. Now keep in mind that TF2 is a nearly a 10 year old game this October. I think it's October that's TF2's birthday is in. Oh god. Oh god. I'm pretty sure it's October. It's sometime around there. I'm not a, I don't know the exact day. I think it's actually October the 7th. But whatever. TF2 is a 10 year old game and Overwatch has just gone a year old. And today I'm going to be going over a couple of things that TF2 has that Overwatch doesn't. So basically, some of these things may be good things and some of them may be far from good. And yes, yeah, so let's get straight into this video. So the first thing here is the trading community. Overwatch has absolutely nothing like the amazing trading community we have here in TF2. Overwatch doesn't even have anything you can trade, although I presume somewhere down the line they'll make it so that skins will become tradable. But I don't think that skins will ever give the customizability and sort of the ability to just change whatever you like on your character that cosmetics and weapons have in TF2. And I think this is really good that TF2 has this. And it's bad that Overwatch doesn't, but at the same time it's good because that's something TF2 has over Overwatch. Over, over, okay. And within this amazing trading community TF2 has built up over the years, well, it's not TF2 that built it up, well, I guess TF2 is the basis, but within this amazing community we have high tier traders who make thousands of dollars off of trades and whose inventories are easily worth tens of thousands of dollars, which is absolutely insane. We also have amazing YouTubers like Pyro Joe, Spiky Mikey, The Virtual Economist, and all these amazing guys who make videos on uh, tradable items and trading and how the market is going in TF2. The next thing I want to talk about here that TF2 has that Overwatch doesn't is just the, the just the really casual aspect of the game within a Val like within the Valve official service. So, oh god, that voice, my voice just cracked so bad. Um, so I'm talking about the casual game mode. And some people are like, oh, it's too competitive, it's too competitive. Look at the Overwatch quick play. And that's, that's pretty much competitive right there. Like, Overwatch quick play is like TF2 competitive. I have not had an Overwatch quick play game where someone has been raging in chat like, oh, we need a healer, we need a tank, we need, we need, we need four more DPS, you know, like, it's really annoying. It's actually annoying and it deducts from me actually enjoying the game, which I find actually really irritating. But what can you do? Well, I mean, I guess you could leave the quick play game. Oh, but no, I forgot. If you leave more than a couple of times in a short sort of period of time, it starts taking away the amount of XP you earn per round. So you earn 75% left less XP leavers penalty and I've had this so many times this leavers penalty stuff and this used to be a thing in TF2 casual but they took that out which helps the casual aspect that TF2 now holds and you know did hold before <coughs> meet your match and yeah so I think that's one thing TF2 really has over Overwatch is just the ability to just hop into a game and if you don't want to play that game with the people on your team you can just leave Another thing, and this is maybe something which is a bit more, like, opinional, but I feel TF2 has a much closer community. Don't get me wrong, both games have absolutely amazing communities, I think, although Overwatch with its console... I'm not going to go into the PC versus console thing, but um, I think both games have really good communities, but because the TF2 community is substantially smaller, Overwatch having over 10 million players, TF2 having, like, I think it was a hundred thousand roughly which is still really good for a game that's 10 years old I think and I think what this smaller um, community size allows for TF2 is a much more close-knit community where people can help each other out more freely and people can actually talk to each other so you see this with all the shout out series that go on in the TF2 community and you don't have to enter, you don't have to pay to enter for these series with a chance to get your name shouted out like a lot of other communities have it. And don't get me wrong, there will be people that do other shout out series in the Overwatch community too. 
I just haven't seen any. And I feel like the TF2 community gives me more of a sense of sort of like everyone knows everyone and everyone, well, most of the time everyone gets along. You know, of course there are going to be conflicts and scammers and stuff. But I think TF2 has a, a much nicer community to be in than the Overwatch one does. And I'm speaking from a guy who's within both communities and I, I sort of know what I'm talking about, I think. But this is a highly opinional statement. And the last thing I wanted to talk about here was just the simple customizability you get within TF2. In Overwatch, yeah, you have skins and you have 24, 25 heroes. I think it's 24. I'm pretty sure it's 24. And yes, you can change up your playstyle with those heroes, but I think within TF2, there are nine classes and there are so many different weapon combinations for each class, it's actually ridiculous. Like, if you want to play Scout, but you want to snipe, use the Sandman Guillotine. You can pretty much snipe people from the other side of the map if you're good with it. Or if you want to play Hanzo, use the Huntsman Sniper. But you don't have to change class, you can then just change to the Stock Sniper Rifle. Or you can go the Machina if you want collab shots. Collab? Collateral, collateral, that's it. And I think TF2's customizability is something Overwatch will never have simply because of the way they've, they've designed the game. They are gonna, I think their goal is like three heroes a year. And I guess that will alter the customizability you can have within the game. And all, each of these heroes having all these different skins. But TF2's hats, well I mean you can change the headwear, you can change the misc, you can change the pants, the shirt, you can change anything. You can mix and match with your skins in TF2 I guess. Which is something you can't do in Overwatch yet. Not sure if they'll add that in, I doubt it though because of the system they've built the game on currently. So I doubt that will ever be a thing within the game. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really, so it got me thinking as to what TF2 has over Overwatch, because I've been playing a lot of Overwatch lately. Like, I don't think I've even really touched TF2 in the last couple of days, which is sort of, I don't know, I have phases where I really enjoy Overwatch and I have phases where I really enjoy TF2, and I think that's all it is. But it got me thinking as to the stuff that I really like about TF2 that Overwatch just doesn't have and I don't think ever really will have. So once again, thank you all for watching guys. I hope you all have a swell day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.